Hi, welcome to Cabin 7451 on Carnival Splendor, Journeys with Jackie and Jay. So this is an aft balcony cabin, which means that we are at the very, very, very back of the ship. So I might start at the very, very back of the ship and work my way forward. So the highlight of this cabinet cabin is this aft balcony. And if I come out, it'll be a bit windy, I'm afraid, but that'll be all right. So that is the wake of the ship. So it's a magnificent view from out here. The weather's not fantastic today, but it's pretty good. But that is absolutely the highlight of this cabin. So it's got lots of space. You can have a lounger up here and it's really quite spectacular. And the door's really heavy. So coming back in, we've obviously got a king size bed. We actually do like sleeping together. Um, bear in mind it is the two, key, two single beds pushed together. So there is a dip in the middle, um, which we don't think is a problem, but some people seem to think that's a really big issue. Apparently you can ask your room chef, uh, steward for a mattress topper if it really bothers you. Uh, lamp at either side of the switch. We've actually bought our own pillows, which is not because the pillows here are terrible. They're actually quite nice. Um, we're just really fussy about our pillows. <laughs> so you don't need to bring your own. Um, our steward has just been and cleaned, and so there's our little puppy that he's left us. Um, one of the things we particularly like about balcony cabins in general is that we get a couch. Um, interior cabins don't in the main have a couch and we like to be able to sit somewhere that isn't on the bed. Especially on longer cruises. It's only a four day up, but normally longer cruises it's great to have more room to spread out. True story darling, true story. <coughs> Uh, the telly, if you've followed any of our other videos, is not quite as big as a, a gentleman would like, but big enough. Um, at the moment it's showing our position as being off Grafton apparently. So if you've watched any of my packing videos, you'll see that I recommend you bring these little hooks. Um, and if you have a look at the room, you'll see why I recommend you bring these little hooks, because it does actually keep things nice and tidy. Uh, this lounge does pull out to a bed to a sofa bed can't guarantee how uh, comfortable that would be um also don't know how you go with four adults in this room yeah it'd be pretty tight um kids maybe i don't even think i'd want that to be perfectly frank a um, couple of shelves there cupboard shelves safe in that one uh mini fridge in there Lots of drawers, little drawer there, more drawers down there. So we've actually taken all of our stuff out of our uh, suitcases, even though we're not here for very long. And if Jay would be so obliging, he'll lift up the doona cover there and I'll show you where they all are. So both of our huge, great big suitcases fit underneath the bed. Um, so plenty of room, you just unpack them, throw them under there, do not need to bother about them for another second. And this is where everything is. So one cupboard is all shelves. One cupboard is hanging space and some shelves down the bottom for shoes. And another one is all hanging space. So we've taken everything out, hung everything up because frankly, we like doing that. It makes us feel a bit more organized and settled, yeah? Yep. Uh, bathroom, <clears throat> perfectly serviceable. Obviously not huge, but you are on a ship. Plenty of places to put everything. So again, we've kind of unpacked and settled ourselves in. Shower, the water pressure is the water pressure that you'd expect on a ship. So it's not, you know, you're not gonna set the world on fire at any point, but perfectly okay. Washes the shampoo out. That's always my measure of whether or not uh, water pressure is okay. If you can get your shampoo out, you know, Bob's your uncle. Um, but the only complaint I reckon I have in this whole room is that that's the only Australian PowerPoint. There is one over here that's an American one, so if you've got an adapter, you could bring that and use that. Other than that, there is that one. Um, it hasn't really bothered us because we plug, again, if you've watched my videos on what we pack, we take bring a little charger and it charges all of our devices at once. So we only really need the one PowerPoint for that. However, if we did want to put Jay's fan on, again, that's in the videos, um, we would need to unplug all the charging devices. But, you know, if we really, really cared, we'd ask our room steward for a power board and it would not be an issue at all. Other than that, we're pretty happy with this cabin. 
Love it. Love it. Love the aft balcony. Now, to be honest, it's quite a bit pricier than a normal balcony. It was just on this cruise, we've got a fairly sweet deal on it. Um, probably in the future, we won't get an aft balcony again unless it's a really sweet deal. Do you think, Dal? Yeah. You know, lovely as it is, it's not probably worth the hundreds and hundreds of dollars more than it usually is to get a normal balcony. But for this one, poof, we're pretty happy with it. We're, we're, glad what, we did it. we're glad we've done it. We're glad we've seen it. Uh, we will not die wondering on this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got more cruises coming up in the next six months. Six to four months. And uh, we'll keep you informed. See ya.